senior from Wayne, Michigan. He'll get it again. Actually, that's Nick Hill on first and goal, and he is slammed down. Big hit by middle linebacker Bryce Hager, fifth-year senior, the leading tackler on this Baylor defense. Great hitting early in this game. You're going to see some great linebacker. There's no question Connor Cook knows exactly where these receivers are going to be on every play. First down at the 22. Langford picking a hole, and he gets pushed back. The strength of Bryce Hager. And Taylor Young as well. Taylor Young, a guy that received one offer from Connor Cook is getting rid of it quick. They're also running away from him. Hand off to Nick Hill. Gets a couple of yards. Hill is the number two tailback on this team. But he's had some big grounds in 2010. Michigan State on second down in 10. Cook has Lippitt into Baylor territory with a first down. A gain of close to 18 to the 42-yard line. Orion Stewart finally gets Lippitt to the ground. A middle linebacker. Here's Bryce Hager right here. There is no way he is going to be able to guard one on one. Design in formation by David Warner. They go quick here and hand it off to Langford, who gets about six. We talk about the speed of Baylor, but four or five on third down. Need a yard. They'll give it to Langford, and he's got it. Hager grabbed him, but that was after he made it to the 32 yard line forward progress. At the 29, Nick Hill. He gets hit hard at the 28-yard line. Another short game. Very physical play by the linebacking core. I throw the ball on Trey Waynes. I want to throw it on the safeties, Williamson and Drummond. Michigan State keeping it on the ground on first and 10 with Langford reaching the 20. Hager on the tackle. We're inside three conservative here in the first couple plays. Here's a pitch to Langford. Had trouble with the handle, and he turns it upfield and has the first down. So instead of going down, and Baylor probably calling a timeout for Langford, hopefully it's not a costly play. He looks like he comes up a little bit limping there. But what a seven for Michigan State. Can't afford to give the ball back this quickly to Baylor. Cook stepping up, and again the pass in the ground. Well short of the intended receiver, McGarrett Kings. About six yards there, second down and four. Nearing nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Play fake here for Cook, and he gets drilled. The ball was out of his hand, and on going forward, Hager. Great read by Bryce Hager. He knows the rollout, frees him up from coverage, and he can come after the quarterback. And Connor Cook, that clock has been a little bit slow in his head in this game, Schleep. We saw Oakman get to him one time on a third down. You got to get rid of that football. Do you think Bryant's because he's just not used to field block? Hand off to Langford, very patient. He picks his hole, stood up at the five. The three-yard gain. It'll bring up second and goal. Well, yeah, you can run that doesn't have the athletic ability of RG3, but maybe you don't have to put him in an offense. Which is as well, and those are the things that you, that you don't do at the quarterback position at Baylor. Langford up to the 45-yard line. He's still hammering away. Colin Brents gets him down. Nick Hill. Inside the 25, and he gets leveled by Bryce Hager, who has been pounding the Michigan State running backs in this game. Can he cap the drive? Langford will try. Down to the 10-yard line, a pickup of about five. Hager on the stop, and that clock is moving.